Because uh, we see that uh, also the the, B, uh, the definition of the fishnet uh, vlog. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> Hopefully, that I copied you. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's from. Uh, maybe I copied uh, it from. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, so we have uh, this uh, fishnet uh, in four dimensions. You have. Uh, I speak on uh, well, concrete theory in concrete dimension, uh, uh, so the simplest possible one, with two fields, phi 1 and phi 2, and uh, the only vertex, uh, phi 1, phi 2, phi 1 cross, phi 2 cross. Uh, this is, of course, non-unitary theory, but um, uh, still uh, it has a... Uh, 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 ...real dimensions, uh, and... Uh, uh, I will speak about this uh, four-point function, which is uh, the product of the uh, of four fields, which copy this uh, vertex, but uh, they are turned to power n, m, n, m. So you have a, uh, you have a, uh, this theory, the, this uh, correlator uh, is given by a single Feynman graph, which is uh, this one. And, uh, was first used by, uh, first considered by um, uh, Benjamin Basso and Lars Dixon. Um, now we can, as Volod uh, uh, remarked also, we can consider this, uh, uh, this fishnet as a, uh, a lattice model with certain boundary conditions. So you have a tri triangular lattice with uh, uh, Dirichlet boundary conditions in, on the four edges. And you have a fluctuation variable which uh, uh, um, is in uh, R4 and uh, Minkowski or Euclid. Uh, let's, let's say Euclid now and then continually, uh, continue to Minkowski. And nearest neighbor in interaction which is the, the uh, massless propagator. So, Um, this can be, uh, can be uh, described in terms of uh, uh, open spin chain and uh, uh, with uh, conformal symmetry, as it was done by Vergachov uh, uh, and uh, Enrico. Uh, and uh, uh, because of the conformal symmetry, uh, this uh, propagator uh, depends on the four <coughs> of the four operators uh, only through uh, quantities which are uh, invariant with respect to the conformal group and as we learned from uh, Volker stock these are the two cross ratios, ratios uh, which we can uh, conveniently parameterize by two uh, parameters z and z bar so, uh, z and z bar appear like that uh, uh, you we can put all the three of the operators uh, on the on the line uh, at 0, uh, 1, at infinity, and infinity. And the fourth operator will have a coordinate, z and z bar. Um, uh, and uh, it's even more convenient to parameterize this z and z bar by hyperbolic uh, angles, which are nothing but uh, the uh, parameters of the, the, uh, of the um, uh, conformal group, uh, which uh, uh, which moves uh, the fourth uh, operator to the point z z bar. Uh, uh, so uh, we throw away this uh, trivial factor, uh, which depends on the coordinate differences, and uh, we will um, look only uh, on this uh, uh, conformal invariant uh, uh, part of the, uh, of the correlator. Uh, I, uh, I uh, denote it by IBD, 
uh, following Pedro Vieira. So PD means Basso Dixon, because they first uh, studied it. So I will just uh, just uh, uh, flash this uh, integral they, uh, they obtained for uh, complicated uh, arguments uh, related to the integrability in any form of supernovas. So these are UE and uh, are the rapidities of uh, magnons that uh, uh, that um, uh, 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 go from one. Uh, uh, let me let me since the uh, audience is uh, why they're here. Let me stop here. Uh, so uh, 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 this integral is quite difficult because you. Uh, it contains also infinite sum. <coughs> in, in order to, uh, to perform the infinite sum, since it appears only uh, in shifts of the argument, so the uh, most natural thing is to uh, make a Fourier transformation. And after uh, uh, passing to the Fourier variable t, then the integral becomes quite, uh, quite uh, simpler. Uh, and uh, uh, actually, it generalizes the, uh, the ladder integral, the integral for ladder diagrams, which are the, the particular case when uh, one of the, uh, the numbers is, zero, is 1. And this, is, this, this integral was obtained in 2010 by Brodhurst and uh, David Ivan, Ivan, can you help to read this integral, this um, uh, ratio between Hyperbolic functions is oh, oh, really uh, integral. I'm sorry. It's in the integrals? Yes, this is integrals, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry? I, uh, I, uh, I read this integral. Uh, so, uh, sigma phi t, uh, uh, this variable of integration yes, yes. as well? Uh, I uh, apologize because I just, uh, uh, in the uh, sense. Uh, this morning I, I, I wrote this. <laughs> so, so, this is tj. This is this is, uh, everything is Tj until here, yes? So they have, this is product of uh, uh, as many factors as... Uh, as and the uh, and denominator does the uh, uh, I Maybe I have to write. So uh, we have the two parameters, Z and uh, Z bar. Yeah, you can raise the ball. Which which uh, uh, define the two cross ratios, and z is equal to exponent exponent of uh, minus sigma minus uh, phi, and z bar is equal to this is parameterized by this uh, hyperbolic angle and angle. Yeah, this is you said you, know, you said that, but yes. What is written is not clear. So J in denominator in cosine, co cos, denominator. J in the denominator. Yes, yes. But denominator. It factors it depends. Cos sigma plus cos phi. It factors out. Yes. It's, it factors out. Oh yes, of course. I, I wrote it because it's uh, it's nice. It combines with this denominator and the, uh, the formula. I, I couldn't write it. If, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <I put> it. <laughs> this was the reason. No? <laughs> stage. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it? Uh, huh? Sorry, it is there. It's, you know, up, up. It's factorized. Yes, yes. But I put it uh, here. Yes. So, uh, can I go to the next? So this this is a very re remarkable integral, and uh, uh, and uh, 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 Benjamin Basso and uh, they. They succeeded to represent this integral uh, as a determinant, uh, m by m determinant, of uh, ladders. So they reduced their model to the well-known ladder integrals. So this we know that this is very this very natural formula. Uh, everybody who have, has worked with matrix models knows that uh, this is a general general uh, uh, formula for any uh, n by n matrix model, yes? By the methods of orthogonal polynomials. So, uh, uh, indeed, uh, this, uh, this integral can be 
can be put in the form of a matrix model, uh, because this is van der Mond square, and this can come as a result of uh, an additional interaction, which is, actually this is not the standard one matrix model, but the ON model uh, at the point n equal to minus two. <coughs> And uh, now, uh, this model with a potential V, which is quite peculiar. This is the logarithm of this factor uh, 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 Professor Berzanov mentioned, uh, and also uh, another one. So uh, uh, this is simple, a simple uh, uh, logarithm. It can be studied. Uh, it, it has been studied uh, before uh, when studying the... the um, uh, But this is new, and uh, this uh, potential is quite uh, suspicious because uh, you cannot just work uh, with it without without thinking because it's uh, very singular. It, uh, this logarithm has uh, uh, infinitely many logarithmic uh, poles, uh, which start up and down from the real axis. Fortunately, there is a small small um, uh, strip around the real axis, uh, which is where the potential is uh, analytic. Uh, but uh, still, you can use, you can use it. It, uh, it can be checked. And now let me, uh, let me uh, uh, go to the main part of uh, my talk, uh, the thermodynamical limit. So the, the question is, what, what is the continuum limit of this, uh, of this uh, discrete model? Is it some uh, sigma model uh, uh, in target space, uh, the uh, anti deciter space? Uh, so this is this was not clear, and this is still not clear. But uh, the solution gives the uh, hope that uh, there is such a continuum limit. Uh, and uh, uh, the first results uh, were uh, obtained by by the six authors uh, uh, two years ago. And uh, they found that for generic positions of the coordinates, the free energy, that is the, the, uh, the logarithm of the partition function, uh, grows as uh, the area of, the, of this rectangular fishnet. Uh, and uh, uh, the free energy density it's uh, it's a finite number, which uh, which which is uh, well, which has been uh, uh, computed, and it's uh, uh, equal to my, uh, to logarithm of uh, pi divided by four. It's not the same as the uh, free energy of the fishnet on the cylinder, and actually this is you can understand that because we we. Uh, we throw away many excitations here, which, uh, which are present on the cylinder. So there is no reason to ex expect that the free energy is the same. You know, a sh short question. These integrals normally appears as a result of, as a, as a wave function of free ferments, right? A wave function of? This, this, this kind of integrals appears in the realm of free ferments. Three ferments, right? Uh, on the line. You can write it as a uh, three uh, Yes. Uh, three ferment. Can you explain what three ferments are? Is, uh, in which, what is the setting <coughs> three ferments? It will be um, easier to understand how to compute yes. it, right? It's three ferments. Uh, well, you. Uh, setting? Well, you, you, you can write it in terms of uh, three fermions with certain potential. <coughs> Uh, but uh, what is the meaning of these fermions? I don't. They're, they're chiral, uh, chiral complex fermions. I cannot. On the line. For me, it's on artificial. Com uh, on the line, on the segment. Uh, ch chiral. On half line. Uh, chiral means that uh, they are. Ah, of course, they, they are defined on the complex plane, but we, you can see them on the real axis. Half uh, axis. There is a ti plus tj, so. Probably there is a um, ball in the middle. No? It's, it's complicated, but there is no simple explanation of the appearance of the fermions. 
Well, I, I wrote, uh, in my paper, I, in the appendix, I, uh, I wrote this fermionic uh, representation, but I don't uh, consider it uh, particularly illuminated, uh, that before I didn't put it in the text. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, uh, the, the six authors uh, realized uh, that they uh, uh, did, uh, they, they computed the free energy of this model for generic uh, coordinates, and they realized that, uh, uh, um, that for generic coordinates, the free energy doesn't de depend on the coordinates at all. <coughs> it depends only on the aspect ratio of the form of the rectangle. Forgets completely about the, the positions of the four operators. Uh, so then they considered a scaling. They considered the scaling limit when one of these uh, parameters, uh, sigma, is uh, uh, going to infinity together with uh, the size of the fishnet, and then uh, the coordinates started to, to influence the free energy. So, the question is, in this paper, uh, which, which you said, Dixon, 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 no, Dixon, Dixon. Uh, yeah, in this paper, uh, when they computed this uh, uh, free energy per side, it doesn't coincide with what the homological found, or it doesn't? No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, the homological is uh, logarithm of some gamma, yes? The homological is on the torus, yes. Oh, on the cylinder. Yeah, on the cylinder. cylinder. And they obtained a logarithm of I divided by four. So nothing. 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 All depends very much on boundary conditions. Uh, absolutely. Very, uh, like like in the six vertex model, if you consider boundary conditions, uh, the domain wall boundary conditions. Uh, uh, I mean, you, we will not. Uh, you will not obtain uh, uh, some continuum limit which is the same as the. Not an extensive theory. Yes. Uh, well, it's extensive in the sense that the free energy is proportional to the area of the lattice, but it depends uh, uh, on the boundary conditions, well, in, in this limit. No, it doesn't work this way. So you have an arctic circle. Yeah. Uh, so the, the boundary conditions, so they, they influence, propagate to some distance, and in the middle you should, should have the same free energy as the uh, I agree. Uh, I agree, Volodya. Yes, uh, I agree. Uh, because if you change, yes, if you change, but this is a long story. People don't know how to, to, to obtain this Arctic curve. But uh, indeed, the Arctic curve will depend on the uh, aspect ratio, and therefore the result with, uh, for the free energy will depend on the aspect ratio. And also, uh, this uh, fluctuating part inside, they, of course, they will grow uh, linearly with the area, and therefore this, uh, this uh, behavior of the, of the free energy. But uh, what is uh, essential here that is that uh, uh, the uh, coordinates of the operators, so that is these, these boundary conditions, they show up only in the limit uh, which corresponds to the uh, uh, Euclidean OP limit for the, the four-point uh, uh, correlator. So you, uh, we have to make a special double scaling limit in order to, to show them. So uh, they, they did that and they realized that the solution is identical with uh, the solution for the, uh, the um, Frolov-Zeitlin string with uh, a spin and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, internal charge uh, uh, given by 2m and uh, the difference uh, n by m, uh, n minus m. So, which I call L. L, uh, they, usually L is uh, called the bridge. Uh, so, uh, uh, in this talk, I will consider double scaling limit, where both of the parameters, sigma and, uh, and uh, phi, go to infinity together with uh, m, with fixed uh, and uh, uh, then we, uh, I will show that uh, the free energy depends <coughs> on both parameters. In a uh, very particular way. And in some sense, the saddle point equations for this matrix model are the same as the 
those for for the for all of cycling. But they have, uh, but the solution is uh, uh, has some uh, um, peculiar. Uh, uh, I mean, let me let me tell uh, he, now. So uh, at large argument, we can replace the the potential by uh, by a uh, uh, by a linear function, and uh, it it comes with uh, factor one. So. Uh, so uh, when uh, uh, we take the, the <coughs> uh, exponent of the derivative of the potential, it disappears completely because it's, it's a step function. Uh, <coughs> so now we can, uh, uh, we, we can write the cellular point equation for the matrix model uh, in, in this way in the exponential, exponentiated uh, form. And these are exactly as the, it was done in uh, the paper by, six, by the six authors, uh, exactly the, uh, the uh, better equations for 2M magnons in the, in the spin chain with uh, spin minus one half. Uh, so when we take all the better numbers, uh, uh, given to uh, equal to one for positive t's and minus one to the negative t's, and we uh, <coughs> demand that the <coughs> better numbers are no sorry, we demand that the rapidities are are symmetric. That is, uh, for each t uh, there is a minus uh, t a, there is a minus t a in the solution. Uh, then we uh, uh, op obtain uh, this logarithmic form of the equation with n equal to 1. Yeah. So, uh, it should be different for different roots. Sorry? Different? Yes. Uh, it can be, it can be, but uh, the, the result, uh, the, the matrix model side of equation corresponds to any, uh, nj equal to 1. Like a string solution. Yes, it's like one string, yes. Actually, two strings uh, on the right and on the left. And then, briefly comment how you derived the previous equation. Uh, actually, this, this, this is not derived. This is, I, I uh, obtained the saddle point equation for the matrix model, and then I took the exponent, exponential of it, and I uh, found this, uh, these equations. For the uh, for the positions of the of the integral integral no, variables t1 t2 uh, up to tm. So this is a bit this is artificially uh, made, but this is just to demonstrate that uh, the uh, the cell point equation can be rephrased as a better equation. Yes. The second line after taking the logarithm. I mean, do you? Expand the log. I mean, uh, there are no logs, so you assume that t's are large against pi. So. T's are large, yes. Okay. Yes, of course. If, if they are not large, it's not correct. Uh, uh, so we have this solution, which is I mean, this choice of uh, the bet numbers uh, corresponds exactly to the solution of uh, the rule of taking. So um, once again, uh, the dependence of the, on the angle phi, uh, the second term in the potential, completely disappears in the better equations. But it reappears when we choose the better numbers. Now, for did I tell? So the case, uh, uh, so let, let's take these uh, uh, cell point equations and uh, uh, consider separately the two regimes. Uh, the first regime is when the angle phi is uh, uh, less or equal to angle theta. Then uh, the potential is, uh, I remind the form of the potential, it starts with uh, phi, so this is T and uh, 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 so uh, and also the integration is from from sigma to infinity. So if uh, phi is less than sigma, it's out of the region of the integration, and we can uh, replace the 
derivative of the potential by one. <coughs> so this we obtained the form of Zeitlin solution, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, solution of the I mean the, the spectral density for this uh, solution is uh, contains uh, two symmetric parts. And so, well, this is this this is the form. So there is a gap, which is uh, which is the order of uh, sigma. Uh, then uh, another the other regime is when phi is larger than sigma. Then this part of the so sigma is here, and we feel this part of the potential, which is uh, uh, by v prime is equal to zero, and here it's equal to to one. So this corresponds to a, a perverse choice of the of the better numbers, uh, which which is considered a, 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 as non-physical. Usually, the better numbers should uh, uh, should uh, uh, grow when we approach the origin, and uh, when they grow, uh, these zones, these. Uh, 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 the, this, um, uh, the eigenvalues trapped in different, uh, uh, different intervals, uh, different cuts, they repel from each other. And since they repel uh, from each other, the cuts are separated, well separated. But here, if we put this, uh, if we take this choice of the better numbers, they, um, they attract uh, instead of repel, and they uh, so we have two, two regions, this one and this one. So the two regi regions attract, and uh, uh, the, at the point of the collision, uh, there is a singularity, or logarithmic singularity. So this is a situation which is, as far as I know, it uh, was never uh, studied because uh, it, was, uh, it was considered non physical <coughs> But this is uh, an example where this uh, weird choice of the better numbers uh, can... Uh, can uh, Lead to physical solution. Could you remind what is rho? Rho. What is uh, rho? Yes. Uh, rho is the the uh, density of the uh, distribution of the theta. So if uh, uh, let me see, uh, uh, sum sum over uh, i function of t a is equal to integral rho of t, f of t, dt. So such kind of behavior actually has been observed as a distribution of beta roots. If you take a SL2 spin chain, oh, yeah. and if you look for operator with large spin, yeah. you know that the energy corresponding states would grow logarithmically with the spin. Because it grows logarithmically because of ah, the... Because. Oh yeah, yes. The oh yeah, yes. Uh, I, yes, I, I, of course, of course. So this, uh, yes. Uh, actually, I, uh, if you take uh, if you take uh, uh, quadratic uh, quadratic fishnet, you will obtain exactly this uh, this curve we, you, you you obtained uh, long ago. Yes, the, with the cusp in the middle. But my question is: Is this, is this peak would correspond to certain? Uh, large contribution to free energy of your system, to your integral. So the, the, the presence of yes. these cusps is synonymous of having some logs, I don't know, something big in your uh, expression. Yes. Yes. So what, what is big? Uh, so let, let's look at the integral. Uh. So t is, t is, the peak is with respect to t. Uh, so uh, here, uh, here uh, the uh, the potential is uh, just it, it, it's not a, uh, it's not very important, but uh, the fact is that uh, uh, well, he, when uh, this is a confining potential, but uh, when it's uh, it is zero, then the uh, eigenvalues they uh, speak only with themselves, not with the potential. Yes, and uh, we see that uh, they are attracted not only repulsed, but also attracted with the same force. And uh, because of this attraction uh, uh, to the um, uh, uh, images, uh, uh, the, 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 there is a, 
My question is I understand qualitatively, but you have a lot of parameters in game. You have a big, uh, some parameters which go to infinity. My question is that this peak should translate into some large contribution to this integral. Uh, uh, for, forget about what I, I said. No, no, they, they repulse. Uh, they repulse from themselves and from the. the this is O minus uh, two model. No, no, it it was nonsense. I, I said. So let let's see, let's see. Um, uh, uh, so let's see in the uh, in the. Uh, in the better equations, uh, so if you write them in the, uh, th this, they are differentiated here. Uh, if you write them as uh, logarithms, uh, <coughs> um, maybe we could discuss afterwards. Yeah. You want to keep, keep, keep going with your talk. I I have to think. Uh, I, I have to think how to, how to uh, explain it. Uh, but this, this is what you obtain by solving the, the, um, the equations. Uh, but actually, uh, yeah, maybe I, I don't know some, some very physical explanation. But, uh, <coughs> so now, uh, uh, let me, uh, let me, uh, uh, Maybe I don't have uh, time to go through this. How much? How many time? Uh, Mi uh, Fifteen, Fifteen minutes. minutes. Uh, so uh, the method to solve the self-point equations is completely standard uh, for matrix models, uh, and uh, uh, we just uh, uh, change the. We, uh, to, in order to go to the, this double scaling limit, we introduce uh, variables which are. Uh, which are rescaled and which are keep, kept finite when we take the limit. And uh, then we are looking for this finite uh, uh, quantity uh, as a function of the three rescaled parameters, which is the limit of the free energy uh, di di uh, divided by the area of the, of the graph. Uh, <coughs> so uh, the, the density of the eigenvalues is encoded in the resolvent, in this resolvent. And the set point equations uh, can be, ref uh, as usual, can be reformulated as a Riemann-Hilbert -Hilbert type of problem uh, for this function. This is the derivative of the potential uh, plus uh, this anti-symmetric combination of the, of the um, uh, resolvent. Uh, and uh, uh, it, for it, you can write uh, uh, an integral expression, which is this one. And uh, this uh, function uh, y is the, uh, obtained by this spectral curve, the, uh, this elliptic uh, spectral curve. So this is the square root of, uh, of this product. Uh, so uh, finally, the, the uh, the endpoints of the interval, uh, which are the branch points for the resolvent, are obtained by these uh, uh, two conditions, which uh, follow from the area <coughs> of the resolvent at infinity. So this is completely standard, and uh, after applying it, uh, you obtain a, a relatively simple expression for the density, which is expressed in terms of the non uh, non complete. Uh, Integral of third kind, p, uh, pi, uh, and uh, uh, the elliptic modulus is, uh, as usual, related uh, to the first point in this way. And uh, 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 this uh, second parameter, which uh, uh, enters in the in the um, uh, uh, elliptic function, is uh, given. Uh, it depends on the angle phi in this way. Not is pi. Uh, pi is uh, this integral. Elliptic integral, uh, uh, non-complete elliptic, elliptic integral of uh, uh, third kind. So fortunately, all these functions are are in, in the mathematical problems program. So you just plug this 
solution and you obtain then nice uh, pictures. You recognize your problem? I, I, yeah, yeah, like five different problems I solved in my life, all of them reduced to this formula. Because it's like a problem with uh, more than two cards. Right? <laughs> it's, it's two cards, of course. You have more than two cards, there is no solution. If two no. cards, this is the solution. Yes. <laughs> but uh, maybe it's not the right time to ask the question. Maybe at the end I will uh, ask the question. I, I, I hope I will finish soon, so let me... Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, uh, now we, uh, 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 as, a, as a bonus, we obtain also the density in the regime 1, which was uh, 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 obtained by uh, six authors. So this is, um, uh, uh, this is okay when you uh, say that this uh, angle psi is equal to pi divided by 2. So you replace the, uh, the incomplete uh, integrals by complete elliptic integrals. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, is uh, uh, because uh, whenever sigma... So we, we have this solution when sigma is... Uh, when phi is larger than sigma. Uh, when sigma is go in uh, uh, this way... Well, I'm not sure anyone can see so, it. So this is sigma, this is phi. When uh, uh, phi moves to this, uh, to this point, then the potential becomes uh, just linear potential, no, no, this, uh, no cusp here. And at this point, we reproduce uh, their solution. And when we continue to move uh, uh, phi uh, further, nothing depends on phi. And this is what they observe. So I, um, uh, I take uh, the, uh, this particular value of uh, value of phi, where uh, at, at the branch point, where when the, the potential becomes uh, just uh, linear, and uh, uh, the, their solution is reproduced. So the form of the density is this one. This is it's smooth and continuous. There is only two 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 strings, not four strings that like each other, but uh, only two, and uh, uh, they are separated by a uh, factor that depends on, uh, uh, on, the, um, on sigma. Uh, so now let me give you, let me uh, give you a solution in the case, in the very particular case, uh, which has the advantage that it's completely uh, Completely explicit, no, no elliptic functions, because when you, when uh, when the two inter, inter, uh, the, the two uh, cuts hit it, they, uh, each other, then we uh, go to the trigonometric limit, and it becomes very simple. So you have rho is logarithm of this uh, ratio, and uh, it's given by this, uh, by this. Uh, uh, I mean, it, it has uh, this uh, profile, and for the free energy. Uh, it's also a very, very simple expressions, uh, expression of the two angles. Uh, actually, of one angle, because uh, we, uh, we took uh, sigma is equal to zero here. So there is a kin kinematical constraint here. Uh, so uh, one peculiar thing is that uh, the, uh, the high phi expansion and low phi expansion are o o almost identical. I didn't write the... Uh, the, the formula, uh, the equation, because there are so many formulas already, but uh, it's a peculiar, I interesting thing. It's, uh, the cusp anomalous dimensions has similar problems. So uh, now, uh, uh, when we take uh, the limit when phi is equal to zero, we uh, reproduce the, the curve uh, which uh, Grisha obtained many years ago, yes, for SL2. So it's not completely seen from here. But, and when you go to the other limit, which corresponds to the uh, double uh, light like limit, uh, then uh, uh, the, the interval is very large, and the, uh, the, uh, this um, uh, logarithmic uh, divergence, uh, the logarithmic uh, cusp, uh, are at, at the two ends. 
so now let me uh, say two words about the, the two limits. Uh, so they are um, first the equivalent short distance limits, which were considered by the six authors. Uh, this means that uh, uh, two of the operators become close. Um, uh, actually, two pairs of the operators become closed, and we can use the OPE, OPE expansion in this uh, channel. And in terms of the um, cross ratios u and v, this means that u goes to 0 and v goes to 1. And another, the other limit is more complicated limit, is the uh, double light like limit when we have uh, two pairs of uh, uh, operators. Uh, uh, become almost light-like independently, and this corresponds to another limit, uh, u goes to zero and v goes to zero. So in, in the first case, you, uh, this uh, sigma, uh, sigma non-normalized, go to, goes to infinity when uh, 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 phi is fixed, and in this, in this limit, <coughs> sigma is fixed, but phi goes to infinity. So uh, now uh, uh, it happens that uh, that uh, in these limits one can compute the fishnet explicitly, and um, uh, the f uh, six authors authors computed it in the OPE limit, and it's given by uh, the determinant of uh, the uh, letters I mentioned before, uh, which can be evaluated in this limit very simply. This is some uh, factorial. And the, the determinant is uh, equal to some uh, number, which is the ratio of the Barnes uh, G functions, and uh, log of uh, u to the power of the area of the, the graph. So uh, in, in, term, in the uh, case of uh, a double light-like limit, you can do the, sim the similar trick. You, it's not a trick, it's just a, calcul a calculation. You, um, Evaluate the letters in this limit, which is very simple. It's just one over k for the kth uh, letter, and uh, you have uh, 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 the Boltzmann uh, Dixon integral is given by this determinant. One over, and uh, uh, well, you can compute this determinant easily because this is by, by applying the Cauchy identity, and you obtain these results. So you have the, this. Uh, uh, numerical factor which uh, cancels from the definition uh, this phi to the power of uh, uh, the area and uh, uh, the coefficient is the square of the the square of the, uh, the coefficient for the uh, equation of so you can write the, the answer in this way uh, this this uh, c CMN times uh, logarithm of uh, u to the area times CMN logarithm of v to the area. So uh, this uh, means that uh, perhaps this means that there is a uh, uh, there is a factorization of the dynamics in the two channels, the the forward and the uh, the cross channel, which I don't understand uh, uh, well. But it's this is uh, how how it uh, appears. And now uh, let me finally uh, compare the, these exact formulas with the asymptotic of the solution in the double scaling limit when uh, the scale parameters becomes, become very large. Uh, so in the first case, uh, in the Euclidean limit, uh, 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 the, two, the, two, uh, the density in the two intervals uh, they, they become very, very far from each other uh, for the uh, two sigma, and we have a, you have a singularity here, uh, which is well, uh, uh, I forgot one over uh, c or logarithmic. Uh, I, well, but they become singular in, in this uh, uh, branch point, and in the double scaling limit. The singularity travels on the other way, in the far end, and uh, uh, the, the, large, uh, the large parameter is the, the, the distance between the, the far end of the cuts. 
Sorry? Oh, oh okay. Yes. So the for the free energy, you 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 obtain this uh, so very similar very similar expressions, uh, and uh, 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 where were uh, there were two mn now uh, mn now it's two mn. Uh, so now let me summarize, as the uh, mind that uh, and uh, let me uh, say what what. Mm, so the problem I consider is to find the double scaling limit of this uh, 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 rectangular fishnet, uh, uh, which depends on both uh, both um, conformal parameters. And uh, 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 so what what they obtained in the general their. Uh, they completely resolve the model uh, for fixed, for fixed um, uh, hyperbolic <laughs> angles. This means that uh, when you rescale them, uh, they, are, they go to zero. So this is the phase, the phase diagram. So this is uh, at zero. And when you take them very large, very large, then you obtain the two limits, double light-like limit and the Euclidean short distance limit. So in this, uh, in this, uh, Limit the solution depends on both variables sigma and tau, uh, sigma and uh, uh, phi. Uh, with a symmetry, of course, here. Uh, but in this limit, it depends only uh, on uh, sigma and not on phi. So this is why I, I wrote, I drew, drew these lines. So along the physics is constant on each of these lines. And uh, this is uh, this is also. Uh, well, this, uh, let me see here. This, uh, this is the part of the summary, so this is the first uh, one. Then next, it's not clear whether it, there is a holographic limit, but uh, maybe, maybe it exists. I mean, nothing uh, contradicts uh, its uh, uh, existence. Uh, and. Uh, 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 this is an example also for a physical uh, choice of the mode numbers in the, the kind of solution, uh, the, the factorization I mentioned, and uh, finally uh, I have to mention the, the, uh, the calculation uh, of the of this um, OP limits uh, made by by Pedro Vieira and uh, um, Aiko Livucci. Uh, Using special, uh, using uh, so-called stampedes, so they they had a simple model of uh, magnets that hop only in one direction, and uh, when computing the amplitude uh, uh, for these uh, magnets that go from one one side of uh, the rectangle to the another another side, uh, they they obtained the same uh, the same number CMN as uh, you. Uh, uh, as uh, with the computation um, of the determinant of letters. Uh, so this is an interesting, uh, inter interesting proposition to, uh, to uh, look for a dynamics inside the, the fishnet. So as uh, Volodya mentioned before, um, there, will, there must be a spec uh, uh, arctic curve phenomenon here. And I'm sure that in their fish, their uh, some bits, there, there is such a phenomenon. Uh, so it's interesting uh, how you can can you can you say something more about that. And with these uh, words, I will finish. So I thank you for. Your Okay, I ask. A so that's a simple question. Could you show again the back ends of the equation and saddle point equation? What is the what? What is the, uh, the equation? Yes. The back ends yes. and saddle point. Yes. Could you show them again? Oh, yeah. ah, who, could I show? Okay, I, I will. So is it the same equation? Uh, no, no. This is the when you take the limit of large t, 
than this equation, uh, this one. But uh, we are considering only the large, large, uh, large M limit, which is automatically large T limit. There are no such equations in this model. Yes, it's just a comparison. I mean, the upper one. Yeah, no, no such equation. I just uh, I uh, cooked up this uh, better. Uh, equations as uh, well um, as did um, the six authors uh, in order to justify the, the, the. So they use the solution for the flow of state lead string, and this should be justified. So justified why? So they. Said that, but well, our equations are equivalent to these equations in the large G limit. So let's take, let, let's borrow their solution and uh, investigate it. Uh, so indeed, uh, this is this. This was uh, these are the equations. Uh, they they have a meaning. They are just the settle point for the integral. Uh, but they are equivalent in the large T limit to to this. But there is a plus sign. So the difference should be large. The difference of t's should be large. Yes, yes. Rather than yes. two pi. Yes, they are, they are spaced. Uh, yes, uh, and, uh, yes. But uh, can you explain where the, why there is a plus sign? I don't see that the bit equations de depend on the difference and on single t's. But in your equation, you have also uh, the sum of tj plus tk in the denominator. And that, I don't know how I can relate on things. Yes. Yes, there is the sum. So yes. how, is, how is it? I don't understand that. If I expand the beta equations for large t, then the sum will not occur. Yes, these are only positive. The, the t's are symmetric. By, uh, yes, all, here the t's are all, they are empty. But uh, you can interpret this equation as a symmetric, symmetric uh, uh, collection of t's. From my uh, of two m, ah. and then this term uh, appears. Uh, yeah, yeah, you think. Okay, now I understand. Uh, yeah. So, usually when you study the matrix model or two D gravity, then uh, the most interesting point is the universal point when two cut solution becomes single cut solution as is the case in your in your model. Is it the same critical phenomenon which you have in O minus one model? Uh, no. 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 But what no. happens there? It's a phase transition after all. The potential is uh, not the same in the O N model. You have a potential which confines the eigenvalues at, uh, at zero. So if you go to, to this... Uh, no, no, let, let me see. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's not the same. Uh, it's not the same dynamics because the potential in the. Uh, let me. It's the same. But you agree that it's a critical point. The it's potential in the when model is uh, like that. Some confining potential. Mm -hmm. the o, 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 mm -hmm. the standard one. And uh, but it, it must must have a, uh, must have. A, 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 uh, let me see. Uh, no, no, it, 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 we have a effective potential, which uh, which is uh, some of it is from the eigenvalues, and you obtain, we obtain some effective maximum, and which should be near the, the maximum. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, uh, here you have uh, you have this uh, uh, critical behavior. Actually, you can you can put it uh, by uh, shifting the eigenvalues. You can put the maximum. Here at zero, and uh, and uh, well, so you have a potential which is uh, um, you, you have to put some confining potential because you have to integrate from uh, from zero to infinity. Otherwise, you must do like me uh, to integrate from sigma to infinity, and uh, then you have uh, so you have a uh, 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 repulsion of the. Again, values and also repulsion, repulsion from their uh, 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 mirror images, and this leads to a, a, a dynamics which is more complicated than the one matrix model. You have logarithms. Yeah. Oh, but, uh, I speak about O minus one. Uh, minus two. Yeah. Oh, minus two. Sorry, minus two. You uh, you have the regime where the two cuts merge. And of course, you have logarithmic singularity in elliptic functions, yes? And this logarithmic singularity 
appears then in the potential, etc. Even so, in one of your formulas, uh, yeah. it is uh, yeah. critical yeah. behavior. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. But there was uh, a question. It is, it's an interesting question. So maybe this is relevant for the phi singularity in phi. Mm -hmm. And in certain limits, uh, in the uh, sigma equal to zero limit, okay, uh, then we have this, uh, this uh, function with uh, singularity at zero. Uh, uh, so we, we have, I have to think about it. Uh, but uh, the, 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 the other limit is, uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't correspond to that because the uh, uh, density is, uh, is very is con con uh, consists of two pieces symmetric, with, and they are very large from the this is the opposite limit, limit than the limit you would be interested mm -hmm. in. But uh, for the phi, yes. Yeah, sorry. Okay. There is a last question from uh, from Grisha. Uh, uh, I have a question. One. <coughs> so regime you had regime number one, regime number two. Regime number one, it was short distance regime, right? So it yes. was Euclidean short distance regime with respect to yes. F points. And regime yes. it was a double light like regime. Yes. Now we have conceptual problem to understand the result. Yeah. Actually, yes. It, yes. Uh, well, it's, it's double scaling limit, it's not, not yet. Uh, uh, if, if I look at this diagram, and I'm thinking about this diagram with defining four point correlation function. So let's think about this like you have four points, this is a four point correlation function. Hmm? Diagram, the correlation function, the integral of your computing corresponds to certain contribution to four point correlation function of <coughs> scalar operators. Okay. Now we had a very nice talk by Falker, who told you that if you now go to short distance limit, four point correlation function should behave as a power of u. And you telling us that in the first regime it was log u in the power. It's a log u, yes. So now my, my first question is how would you reconcile? Just a fact. <coughs> it's a good question, the answer of which I don't know. I, I don't know. This, this is the result. Uh, this is already obtained by, by six authors that, uh, and they, well, maybe they had some explanation. I don't But my a second question, did anyone analyze okay, the OP analysis of this answer, even your answer. So you got, if I understand correctly, you're saying that double, double light like asymptotics is basically you take a square product of two different asymptotics in different channels. What does it mean from point of view of the P analysis? Because normally when you go to this double light like limit, you're talking about contribution of the operators in both channels with large spin. Yes. So uh, this answer say, tells us that the contribution doesn't uh, don't interact. Don't. Uh, it, uh, it, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, it's a different interpretation. But uh, from the examples that we know of, it uh, says something else. For example, okay, I, I don't want to. Care. We could discuss it private. But my question basically is: there is there was no OP analysis of your answer. No, 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 no. It would be interesting to to. Okay, thank you very much. Oh.